everybody. Welcome to the Hallmarkies podcast. We're so excited to be here today talking to one of our hall stars. We're talking with Stacey Farber today, who's in the new movie, Butlers in Love. And thank you so much, Stacey, for coming on the podcast. Thank you for having me. I just got so exciting hearing it. it it's called a hall star. Yeah. Okay. That's what we like to call our actors. <laughs> I'm honored. Yay. Yes. <laughs> Well, we're excited to get to know you. And one thing we like to do is we like to ask our guests, uh, how did you get started uh, in acting? What inspired you to get into the field? Wow. Good question. I know, I've tough. Been, uh, well, I've been doing this for an extremely long time. <laughs> um, I can't believe I'm still doing it sometimes, but I got my start as a child actor. Yeah, I was a super performative little kid. Um as most kids are. And then I went to this public performing arts school, an elementary school in Toronto near my house. There, all the kids took classes like drawing and painting and dance and drama and mime. And we had to learn how to play piano and have another instrument. And when I went to that school, I met child actors because I don't have family in the business. They were all shooting commercials and doing TV shows in Toronto because there's a lot of uh, work for kids programming. That's when I was like, I want to do this. I want to, I want an agent. Um, I want to start auditioning. And that was over 20 years ago. Yeah. Crazy. Wow. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Well, a lot of our listeners will know you from Virgin River, it's a very popular mm -hmm. show. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that must have been a really exciting uh, show to get to cast in to get the booking. Yeah, I got the booking in Vancouver in the pandemic. So I was just so grateful to have a job. And when I when I booked it, um, I don't think people know this, but I'd actually taped um, an audition for the role of Brie first and then that and it ends to me now that I didn't um, and then I made a take character Tara and I didn't know how popular the show was when I started so I just did my thing and then when it finally came out a long time later um, it just it had blown up and I'm I'm still shocked at, at how many people tuned into that season. Yeah. So you had a pretty emotional storyline. And uh, one thing I wondered, is it hard to kind of build, build the emotion and prepare for scenes like that? Yeah, it, it was really hard, actually. I wish I could say, no, it's all <laughs> the same. But no, it was really hard. And I was really nervous about it especially those later episodes, I, I read the scripts and I remember my mom was in town visiting me in Vancouver and I was super stressed and didn't think I'd be able to pull it off. Um, it's very dramatic. It's um, probably the most intense thing I've ever had to perform. I never know if I can do it. Like even tears will come and I don't really want to, you know, um, it's, it's performance anxiety, but on the day I had a great director and they kept the set very quiet and very comfortable for me. And I was lucky in that it just clicked and it, um, the feelings came and I, um, I gave it all. <laughs> yeah. Well, it worked. It was very, it was very emotional. Did a good job. Um, so we have the new movie Butlers in Love coming out very mm -hmm. excited about it and I think it looks really fun you know the the writer Anna White she's a friend of the podcast and so excited to see what she brings to this whole concept and there's like a butler academy is that right there is <laughs> um you my blazer today to just have be a little form so I play character of young woman who has always becoming a butler at a castle which I think is very endearing, but also hysterical. Yeah, she's applied to many Butler Academies before and has been rejected for different reasons. And she's worked as a server and she's taken language classes and she's done everything she can to um, improve her application. And then our movie begins with her 
getting her acceptance. Um, well, I can't spoil even the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> We'd like to take a second from this episode of the podcast to celebrate our sponsor of this episode, and that is the Hallmarkies Patreon. Do you love Hallmarkies podcast? Do you want an inside scoop into what happens on the podcast? Do you want early access to episodes and loads of cool perks? Now is the time to become a patron of Hallmarkies podcast. By becoming a patron, you get to access our patron Facebook group. You can request episodes or even be a guest on the podcast. And most importantly, any patron can join our monthly movie watch-alongs with stars like Paul Campbell, Natalie Hall, and more. It's as low as $2 a month to join in and become a special part of the Hallmarkies family. Please consider, and we will love you forever. Go to patreon.com slash Hallmarkies. That's patreon.com slash Hallmarkies. Is there a high demand for butlers these days? I I had no idea. (laughs) I don't know either. I think it's like a a traditional role, certainly with nobility. Um, And the cool thing that they, they mention in the script is that it's appealing as a job, probably A, because it pays extremely well, apparently. And then B, you get to travel a lot um, if you're, depending on where you're working and who you're working for. And you get to meet fabulous people and live in beautiful places. So it's not just um, serving someone and and, uh, taking care of them. It's like, there's all these perks that you may not. Yeah. Hey, are you playing the first female butler on television? I have never seen that I can think of ever seen. If I've seen housekeepers, I've never yeah. seen a, a female butler in my life. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I wonder if it's a whole genre and I'm just not familiar with it. It's, I think it's um, groundbreaking television. Maybe, yeah. maybe let's call it that. Okay. <laughs> So did you have to learn a lot of things about being a butler, like how to set a proper table or anything like that? I did. Um, I had to learn a lot. And these movies are filmed. Um, I had, I mean, I hadn't been number one, like the lead of a movie in every single scene ever. Wow. So that was hard on its own. And on top of that, it was butling is what it's called (laughs) um so there was a lot of we were moving at a really fast pace and we had a lot of scenes that were competitions and quizzes and final exams at the school uh so yeah I I had to work under pressure and have the pressure of performing on set and you know not having tons of time for certain scenes or losing light and all the things that happen on a on a film set but yeah, we, I did, I did learn a lot. I did how to, yeah. how to pour wine, um, how to look polished, at least like serving someone to it. But there's a clip of us doing our little setting game. You saw that one? Yeah. 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 I just watched it as well. And there's a line where I, I take out the, um, the prompt I'm nervous and I laugh. And I think that was actually improv because I was actually nervous and and, uh, laughing and feeling the high stakes and the stress of needing to to set the table as fast as I could. So did you, uh, was it fun working with Maxwell Caulfield? He was great. So charming, so such a pro you know he's done this for a long time and he was very elegant he brought that elevated presence I mean his character requires it but um he certainly brought that to the set he made a whole speech after he rapped thanking everybody because he was the first one to rap he's he's a true gentleman cool We'd like to take a second and thank our sponsor for this episode of the podcast. It's the Hallmarkies Merch Store. Are you looking for that perfect gift for the postable, hardy, or Hallmarkie in your life? What about getting that t-shirt or hoodie that will help you stand out at your next holiday party? Now is the time to check out the Hallmarkies Merch Store. 
full of festive designs by artists like Jessica Miller, Carrie from Walmart Comics, and more. You can even have more than just shirts, but totes, cell phone cases, notebooks, mugs, and more. And it isn't just Hallmark. We have designs for Anna Green Gables, Man from Snowy River, The Nanny, and more. Every purchase at the merch store goes to help support the podcast and allows us to make the great content you know and love. There are frequent sales, so go to tpublic.com slash stores slash Hallmarkies or see the link in the description. That's tpublic.com slash stores slash Hallmarkies. Did you do like a chemistry read with Corey or did you just go for it? I did not do a chemistry read. We got so lucky that we really got along in real life. Um, And we also really clicked with our director, David. Um, So Corey and I met when he flew to Vancouver and we went and had lunch before we started filming. And we talked about the script and our ideas for it and how we could make it funnier because we, we wanted it to be light and fun and funny. And he, he's so talented. He's like a theater guy on Broadway to, to TV. So I, I, my scene partner, the same sense of humor and can play together. Well, that's really cool. Yeah. Is he, so he's also in the Butler Academy. He is. <laughs> he's at the Butler Academy and my character does not like him until she starts to like him yeah. and yeah yeah you you guys the viewers get to go on that journey with her fighting her feelings nice yeah yeah it were, would you describe yourself as like a fan of of rom-coms of this yeah kind of genre? oh for sure i've always wanted and be really a true and a wonderful especially love rom-coms and um I was talking to someone on the weekend who loves Hallmark movies. My sister loves Hallmark movies. My dad loves Hallmark movies. And I was talking to someone else I know who loves Hallmark movies. And she said that she loves Hallmark movies because nothing bad happens. Just good, good viewing. Entertaining, heartfelt, and escape from everyday stress. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we like about them. They're just relaxing. We've been having, you know, Sundance and uh, you watch all these sort of heavy films and then get to watch a, on Saturday, get to watch a Hallmark movie. It's just like, (sighs) yeah, totally. It's that, that exhale, that comfort watching. Yeah. Cool. Well, what would you say to get people to watch Butlers in Love would be your big pitch that people are going to really like this movie? Ooh, my big pitch for Butler's in Love is that I, I, I haven't seen a movie like this. I think it's a really interesting um, escape and an invitation to go to a Butler Academy with us and to laugh. I'm hoping it's funny. Like we, we had a lot of fun filming it and we improved a lot. I'm not yeah. sure how much of it made the final cut. Um, I hope it's in there because that was just so fun. We were invited to be creative and to play and come up with our own ideas and put twists on the lines and all of that, I think makes for, um, a really upbeat and hopefully energetic and playful movie. Great. Yeah. Well, we're really looking forward to it. Thank you so much for taking time to talk with us. We, we really appreciate it. And do you have a social media you'd like to share or anything like that? I do. Yeah, I have Twitter, but I haven't been on in a while. Um, but I do go on Instagram and that's just my name at okay, Stacey great. Barber. And um, thank you so much. Thanks for, for wanting to chat and for watching and for encouraging everyone to tune in on Saturday. Yeah, definitely. Everybody should take a listen and yeah, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us. We really appreciate it. And hopefully this will be the first of many times. <laughs> thank you. Thank okay. you, Rachel. I'd love that. Thanks. Okay. Bye, everyone. Okay. Bye. I'd like to thank Stacey for coming on the podcast. This was so much fun to get have a little chance to talk with her. Let us know what you think about all the things we discussed. And please like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. If you're listening on iTunes, please leave your ratings and reviews. Five stars helps us so much. 
And uh, if you could check out the Patreon group and merch store, that would help so much. You can find me at Rachel's Reviews, all of our social media, iTunes, YouTube, and on Rotten Tomatoes. Please take a look at that. And thanks so much, everybody. We'll talk to you later. Bye.